In this equation, we have NaH plus BF3, sodium hydride plus boron trifluoride. Sometimes this is called boron fluoride. Let's add the atoms up and balance the equation. We have one sodium, one hydrogen, one boron, and then we have the three fluorine atoms. On the product side, we have the one sodium hydrogen six, borons we have two, and then fluorine we just have one. Let's see, let's balance the hydrogens first because that's a pretty big number. If I put a six here in front of the sodium hydride, I have one times six for the hydrogens. So those are balanced. One times six for the sodium, those are balanced. Okay, well, maybe we balance the sodium now by putting a six in front of the NaF. We have one times six. So now the sodiums are balanced. And then for the fluorine here, we have one times six. So now we have six fluorine atoms. That's not too big of a deal because if we put a two in front of the BF3, the one times the two, that'll give us two boron atoms, and those are balanced. And then three times two, that'll give us six fluorine atoms. And we're done. This equation, it's balanced. Sometimes when I have a larger number, like I had the six for the hydrogen, I like to balance that first because that can change things in a way that if you start with a smaller number, you'll have to go back and change them again. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NaH plus BF3. Thanks for watching.